back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a light switch in Roblox Studio. So I have a little switch here. You don't have to make it fancy. All you need is at least one part. So inside this, you'll want to have one part. You want a click detector inside of it and a script inside of it. That's not all we got to do outside of our code. Next, you want to have a part or a few parts, like I have a little thing built up here. Um, in this, you would like to have, you know, whatever you want. But you want to have a point light, surface light, whatever kind of light you want to use inside one of your parts. And make sure enabled is equal to false. Your brightness, color, range, none of that matters. It just matters. The only thing important is that enabled equals false. For I mean, you, you could have it to true because this, this code will still work if it's true. But it is preferable that it is false. So when you're going to want to open up your script inside of your part. And I, I would also recommend making this model called light switch. And, you know, so, yeah, and then you would go inside your script and you want to define our click detector using a variable. So you can say local and then so local is just kind of like make you kind of local the script. Or something like that, if you know what I mean. There's many videos explaining the local keyword, so I will actually recommend you guys one. I will link it in the description. So local click detector e detector equals script dot parent dot click detector. So when we say script dot parent, we are referencing the script, and then we are referencing its parent, which is the wedge part, since that is my little part. And then we can say dot click detector. In this click detector, so this is the, when we say dot click detector, it's literally just getting the click detector and referencing it. So next we would go under and we want to say local light equals um, game dot workspace dot light dot light. Since I um I so what you want to do is you want to get your model if you have a model or your part name. And my part's named light, and then since we have a point light in there, we want to say dot point light. Well, not position, dot point light. So that's just referencing the point light. Game, when we say game, we're referencing the game as a whole. When we say workspace, we're referencing the workspace. And then when we say light, we're referencing the model. And then when we say light again, we're referencing the part, and the point light is referencing the point light. Next, we want to create a function. So you're going to say function. Then I would do on on switch so like this is just kind of referencing when it's switch and then what you want to do is add two parentheses and hit enter this will create a function for us so inside this function we would like to say light we would like to say light dot enabled equals not light dot enabled this might be so what we're doing here is we're making we're changing the enabled property and we wouldn't say equals true or equals false. I mean, you can do that, and this will work. But if you do that, it w it won't go back to... So, like, say you turn your light on, and then you push it again, it will stay on because you aren't changing it. Again, you're just keeping it false. The property is false. So that's why we do equals not light.enabled, because then that'll just, that'll just inverse the enabled property. Next, we want to go under this end. I, I would recommend going down to one line, one or two lines. And then I would say click detect, well, not continue. Click detector, dot mouse click, connect, um, func, not function. Sorry, guys, I just did another tutorial a minute ago. Dot, dot, uh, dot on switch. All right, dot on switch. And now if we hit play, we will go right up to our light switch. And when I press this, boom, the light is on. And I press it again, the light's off. So I will have this model for free in my Discord server. So if you join that, you can get all of my tutorial models. I have many models, not just a few recent tutorials. I even have models from like a year ago, like my blood splatter tutorial. Um, my keycard door tutorial and a few others. So yeah, why? Um, I I hope this helped.
uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!